Hello developers, I'm Radhika and you're watching Divine Coding. So let's get started. So Flutter's 1.20 has been released to a stable channel and this release has improvements for every one of the four pillars of Flutter that's Flutter is fast, beautiful, productive and open for every platform it support. So one of the most requested Flutter feature for a while has been autofill for mobile touch fields. So now no more asking your users to re-enter data that the OS has already gathered for them. And with the better, faster, stronger mouse testing, they have also added support for mouse cursor, which was also one of the most awaited feature for desktop. And now commonly used widgets will display the cursor you expect them by default. And if you want, you can also specify other from the list of supported cursors. And the best part is, this release introduces a new widget that's known as Interactive Viewer. And the Interactive Viewer is designed for building common kinds of interactivity into your app like pan and zoom, drag and drop it and this has been already possible but now this is much more easier with the new widget and this widget is going to be very helpful and addition to new widget this release also includes a number of updated widgets like updated material slider, ring slider date picker has been updated to include a new compact design and also support for date ranges and finally our time picker got a completely new look and this look makes our time picker much more beautiful and if you like to play around with it then i will provide the link in the description that you can check after the video and the another update of this release is the new responsive license page and it's not just plain nice to look at but it's also much easier to navigate and design to work well on tablets and desktop as on phones and the biggest tooling updates in this release comes to the visual studio code extension which provides a preview of a new feature to enable you to bring that dev tools screen directly into your coding workspace and this is going to be very great for your productivity and another new feature for Visual Studio Code is updating imports on rename which automatically updates import statements when files are moved or they are renamed and this was an awaited feature for VS Code and yes there's also a new perspect.yml format required for publishing plugins because the old format did not support specifying which platform your plugin support so now new perspect.yml format is required for publishing new or updated plugins and they have also claimed that this release includes 3029 merged PRs and 5485 closed issues from 359 contributors from around the world that which is a huge number and if you will take a look at performance improvements for Flutter and Dart then this release fixes a tooling performance issue with our icon font tree shaking and now makes it the default behavior. So what icon font tree shaking does it, it removes the icons that you are not using into your app and this will directly reduce the app size. Like they have tried it with Flutter Gallery app and they found that it reduced the app size by 100 KB and Flutter always tries it's best to reduce the app size so that's really a great improvement and another performance improvement that they have did this release introduces jank in the initial display of your animation using a warm-up face so you can clearly see the difference between both of them like without SKSL warm-up and with SKSL warm-up that can speed it up by more than 2x and also the latest version of that dev tool comes with an updated version of the network page that enables WebSocket profiling. The network page now adds timing information to the network calls from your app along with the informations like status and content type and also additional improvements have been made to the details. UI to provide an overview of the data in a WebSocket or HTTP request. And you may know that in April they have reported that the number of Flutter apps in Google Play Store have reached 50,000 with a peak rate of 10,000 new apps per month and now just over 3 months later there are more than 90,000 Flutter apps in Google Play Store and this shows how Flutter is becoming so much favorite to all of us and there has always been need to make communication between Flutter and the host platform safer and easier for plugins and add to app. So for that they have created command line tool that's known as Pizen that uses Dart syntax to generate type safe messaging on top of platform channels without adding additional runtime dependencies. And now Flutter isn't Flutter without Dart. So it's great to say that the IEE has reported that Dart has moved up 4 slots since the last year to be hashtag 12 in top 50 languages that they track and for that now let's give some claps. And Flutter has also claimed that they are seeing a lot of this growth in India which is now the top reason for Flutter developers having doubled in the last 6 months and this has become possible with Google's increased investment in the India 
ओके सो देर वर सो मच ग्रेट स्टेप है टूल्स इन द फ्लटर वन पॉइंट टू जीरो टाइम फ्रेम एंड फ्रॉम मेनी एंगल्स वी कैन से दैट दिस इज द फ्लटर बिगेस्ट रिलीज ये विद सो मच ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस इम्प्रूवमेंट न्यू एंड अपडेटेड विजिट्स एंड टूलिंग इम्प्रूवमेंट्स Hey thanks for watching if you learned anything from this video then hit the like button and do subscribe the channel to not miss out any package that can help you in your flutter development journey and i will see you in the next video till then cheers